Greetings everybody. And today is again uh, one of the blessed days that we wake up. And this is uh, your host Ilona from Ilona TV. And we have a special guest today. We have a guest from the East Africa. She's the amazing immigrant here in Brooklyn Park in Minnesota. And we are going to talk to her about her journey, how she got here. And we would like to introduce and welcome today Disa. Hi, Miss Disa. How are you? Hi, very good. So we're so excited to, uh, to talk to you today about East Africa. And uh, here in Minneapolis, it's actually the one of the largest community from Africa, from all other countries in Africa. We know that Africa is not just, uh, it's not a country like people think, it's a continent, it's a continent. with a lots of countries a lot in it, of countries. lots of personalities, energy, traditions. So we would like us to, you know, like share and educate us. Where are you from? Uh, tell us about the culture, the language, uh, food. Don't go too much about food because it may make me hungry. <laughs> it make me hungry too. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm really happy to be here. Um, like you said, you can see, you can tell from what I'm wearing. I'm from Africa, East Africa. Um, I'm from uh, uh, a country called South Sudan. That the newest country in the world. It's only 11 years old. Unbelievable. Yes, so, the newest uh, country tell the us world. more about that country, the personality of this country. Why is that different from the, any other African country? And, you know, your energy that you bring from them tells me that it's an amazing place. Yes, it is. Uh, like I said, it's 11 years old. It's a new country, and uh, we have a lot of tribe in that country. We have about uh, uh, 54 tribes. They speak different languages, so it's kind of amazing country. We have we sp the first like we speak Arabic, we speak English, we speak uh, we call Arabic Juba. That's for communicating because everybody has different languages. Yeah. Oh, I should have That's started like uh, with uh, talking to you. Uh, Salam alaikum. <laughs> And the Kefa Haluki. Oh, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> oh, Alhamdulillah. So you know Shweet Arabi. <laughs> you know Shweet Arabi. Yeah. Anna bi khair, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Anna bi khair, Alhamdulillah. Anna bi khair, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so we were just greeting each other guys uh, to kind of let us know, let each other know how are you and we know in the name of you know uh, God Almighty we were just saying you know peace yes. be to your uh, life, to your home as well. So yes. uh, tell us about the, um, uh, you know, what is the daily routine for you guys look like? Like, like what the work, you know, the family culture, what is that? It's kind of normal. It's kind of it's everywhere. You get up in the morning and go to work. Everybody have, everybody have different kind of job. But yeah, it's, it's kind of normal. Like we live in US today, like Minnesota here. And family life is, we live in one house and like over here the kids after 18 they move out they don't move out over there <laughs> no I, I i know how it is so that's why for me <laughs> so just out. with that thought it's yeah. kind of hard so tell me you arrived here like over 20 years ago yes and uh, what message would you like to share with the fellow immigrants from the africa not from just you know east africa from but from uh from the africa in general so um what do you want to encourage them with or what do you want to tell them? Yeah, uh, for the new coming or for people who are still coming, they're so welcome. USA is a home for everybody. And when you come here, you are so welcome. And you, uh, they say uh, Americans have great opportunity for everybody. There is great opportunity in this country. So you can be something you came today. You're going to be something great more than people who came 20 years ago. Yes. So you can be something. So. I agree with you. America is the land of opportunity. Yes, and yes. Uh, if you hear about that, now you live through that. And I'm so grateful to America today yes. and what America stands for. And I am the, the patriot of this country and I want this country to thrive. I want to use my energy, my talents and who I am to make this country a better place to live for everybody. Yes. And I want to contribute to this place more than anything else. So I want Visa to look at your camera and talk to the, to the immigrant from your country and how would you want to not just welcome them but encourage them because our home is still a home mm. yes it's a motherland it's our fatherland right but how would you want them to look at the new land 
as their new home. Yeah, uh, for especially for my uh, my tribe, I have my tribe. You know, my tribe is called Anyuak or Anywa. So my Anyuak people, uh, we have a lot here in Minnesota. So as they know, or the new coming, this is our your second home, beside uh, South Sudan or Gambela. So I know m most of them they're doing very good and continue doing very good job here and back home. I'm yes. happy for them, really, really. We are a big community in this, uh, this Minnesota, big, big community. Yeah, Minnesota yeah. is the, uh, the, the largest the state in the country yeah. that welcomes the, the people from the Somalia yeah. and also from the countries of the Africa. Yes. So that's why this place is changing and uh, that's why your message is going to be very effective and instrumental and vital for people who are coming from uh, the, the, the places from Africa. Yes, I know, talk about countries. my tribe, but mm -hmm. there are other tribes too from my country in general. So, so. how about this? Uh, I want you to take maybe like a minute or so and talk to your people in your language and say <laughs> maybe similar thing so they will be able to connect with you even more. I know most of us we will not understand, but with, through your personality, through your charisma, uh, we will understand that. That's because right. your smile <laughs> says more than the words can That's do. That's right. Uh, Yes, guys, we welcome you over here and uh, we want you to make yourself at home and uh, contribute, of course, to this country and make this country the better place to live and uh, use your energy, your talents, your personalities uh, and don't forget to cook <laughs> because we love, we love this uh, because every time you cook and you eat it, I, I smell, I'm like, oh my gosh, this, uh, this, this energy of it is so amazing. And uh, even though this uh, in here, you know, you we probably were not, we did not see your personality much, but I want you to know, guys, that Lisa has most amazing energy, most amazing personality I have ever seen in a woman <laughs> recently. So the smile that she brings in here yeah. is times 100 when you actually meet her in person. So, Ms. Disa, I would like to have you again in my show. Yes, please. Where we I can am. get a little bit deeper and why we got connected and why I want to share your story. Because Ms. Disa has a very instrumental story that will connect deeper with you than just being an immigrant from the East uh, Africa. So guys, stay tuned. We're gonna see Ms. Lisa again in the next episode. And uh, I want you to grow, glow, and grow here in Minnesota. And when you have a message, and if you're ready, get us call, okay? Because we wanna see you here sitting and sharing your story to inspire somebody else to do it. Thank you so much, Ms. Lisa.